Hi everyone. This is my first uh, video for you to sort of help you clear up the confusion between marijuana and hemp because this is like I'm reading a lot of blogs and stuff from a lot of other people um, and they're wrong. They just basically don't know the difference. So let's talk about the difference and I am not, um, I'm actually just going to start reading. <laughs> from a book that I'm looking at right now. I'm doing a lot of research, so I'm thinking like I'm just going to give you a quick, you know, five minutes on the difference between uh, marijuana and hemp, okay? So for the purposes of this talk, let's call cannabis all of the entire hemp family. So that would include marijuana and hemp and any other versions that they may have in that family. Okay, so cannabis, I'm gonna say, is the whole thing. So cannabis is not just the marijuana plant, okay? Cannabis is also the hemp plant, okay? Cannabis is the name of the species. It's the name of the family. And then it's like the difference between a red apple and a green apple. They're still apples, right? So this would be the apple family. So in this case, it's the cannabis family, all right? In the cannabis family, there is one child called marijuana. Marijuana, by the way, was come to you by a name of two Latin names, Mary and Juan. Okay, they put those together to call them marijuana. Okay, um, that was just so that they could pass it as an illegal drug because had they had they put it through as cannabis back in 1937, the fact of the the ability to um, make this drug illegal would not have been passed. They needed to put it under a different name so that when it went through as a bill to be classified as illegal, um, if they had have called it cannabis, it wouldn't have passed. So they had to name it something else so they could pass it to be illegal. So marijuana is the psychoactive ingredient and contains over 0.3% THC, okay? The hemp is the non-psychoactive sister plant, okay? Marijuana, hemp. The hemp plant is the nine, sorry, the non-psychoactive um, sister plant and it is rich in CBD, okay? And it contains below 0.3% THC. Okay? So we're all together on that one. Now, hemp is commonly used to refer only to the cannabis strains to traditionally cultivated for industrial use and not medicinal use. So when we talk about hemp in the past, it was only for industrial stuff. You know, paper, um, clothing, that kind of thing, right? So it's called industrial hemp most of the time. Okay, and it is an extremely versatile plant. We know that. So they make rope out of it. They can make all kinds of sorts of things out of it. So it's a very versatile plant. It's used in manufacturing thousands of commercial products and most recently the CBD for medicinal purposes. Okay, so it has a very low amounts of THC, often less than 1%. Okay, and it's generally not used for medicinal and recreational purposes. However, it is a very strong source for CBD extract. Okay, so that's hemp. Now, CBD or marijuana, the pot species, is generally has it has poor fiber quality, but is very high in THC content. Okay, and is primarily used for recreational and medicinal uses. The major difference between hemp and marijuana subspecies is the plant's appearance and the amount of THC secreted in the resinous mixture um, of the epidural hairs, hairs called the glandular trichomes. A little bit of science. If we're going to talk about this and we're going to become CBD and cannabis experts, then we need to understand these things. It's important to understand that the hemp family of plant has approximately 500 compounds, all right, consisting of about 100 phytocannabinoids. THC and CBD are two of those phytocannabinoids. It has 120 terpenoids and many flavonoids to name the more prominent compounds in the cannabis plant. Okay, so it's just rich in lots of yummy things that we need. Okay, 
So hemp derived from ca cannabis oil, the non-psychoactive cannabis oil called CBD has direct influence in our, on our bodily functions. All right, CBD can be extracted from the industrial hemp plant. There is a growing movement in America and around the world that promotes the use of CBD. The phytocannabinoid for health benefits, CBD is sold commercially and is also a very safe substance. Okay, commercial CBD products have a THC content below 0.3%, not enough of a concentration to produce what we call the high. Okay, cannabis plants, all species in the hemp family, have varying ratios of THC and CBD. So every plant in the subspecies have varying ratios. And of these are the most important ratios when prescribing medical marijuana for medical, for, sorry, for known conditions. So certain ratios work better with a specific illness and are prescribed accordingly. Okay? Uh, CBD that has high CBD with uh, below 0.3% THC can be purchased without a prescription. Okay, so these CBD rich products range from liquid hemp oil, hemp oil as a thick paste, oil in capsules, sublingual uh, tinctures, drops, or sprays, salves, topical use, edibles, vaporizers, e like those e cigarettes, and the list of CBD rich products are just going to keep growing. Okay, so um, that's just a little quick video this morning on the difference between hemp what we call the marijuana plant, the pot, okay? And then both of them are cannabis, okay? So just to clear up that confusion, both of those plants are considered cannabis, okay? So that's just a little bit to get you through a little bit of that confusion so that you can understand that. And um, we're just going to keep on going. So I'm just gonna not going to put too much on you all at once. And that's lesson number one. The confusion between the cannabis plants okay so um, let me know if this was helpful for you and I will talk to you soon bye